Sam Roberts at Meadow Lane uh, for the match uh, Nottingham versus uh, Bedford Blues. Managed to grab a word with James Pritchard, a very dejected, very disappointed James Pritchard. Can you put that into words right now? Um, look, all, all I can say, look, it comes down to our stupidity in the game. Uh, they, they, to be honest, they didn't deserve to be with us. Um, they didn't sort of create anything. Their, their try come from, uh, I don't know what, uh, miscommunication, just uh, not taking the emphasis to go for the ball. Um, they got their try from that. And all the rest of their points come from our stupid penalties. And uh, look, I don't know how many times I have to say it. It's, uh, look, it's, it's starting to be unforgivable. Um, for us to work so hard in the game and then give away stupid penalties that cost us points and then ultimately cost us games, uh, look, it's just not good enough. What's, what's the, is that the feeling of everyone overall? Is there a little bit of shell shockness about that? Because that, that feels as though that was, that was nicked, that was thieved from us, that game. It's got to be. Like, um, I'll put my hand up with missed kicks. Yeah, like, a lot of those I should have put over. But uh, you, can't, you can't help giving them points. That's the thing. You can't give a good team uh, shots at goal. And like you say, the kicker didn't have the best of days either. He missed a couple. And we give him enough chances to win that game for him. And um, Jakey made a good point in the huddle that, look, we've got to take ownership of that because this isn't good enough for this level. To come out and give away, um, all I can say, stupid penalties like that that ultimately cost us a game, um, look, it, like I say, it is just not good enough and it's, it's just not, um, it's not for this level. There's going to be a tough week leading up to Cornish Pirates. Has there been a tougher week in, in your recent history at Bedford Blues at the moment? No, I don't think so. I think... Um, we sort of we were on a bit of an upper after, after those two games because we weren't we still weren't playing well, but we were grinding out wins. Today, we controlled that game right from the get go. Um, we just we just let them play out in front of us. We made our tackles, and they they had nothing to offer against us. It just come down to stupid penalties. Um, in the first half, they give them away every time we kept the ball. They were giving them away. We're grinding out, grinding out. We get over for points. Um, second half. <laughs> It's just unforgivable. I, it's play, look, we have to stand up as individuals and have a really good hard look at ourselves because we're giving away stupid penalties in a game and it is costing us games. And like you say, we're going to be end up fighting for this uh, bottom of the table if, we're not, uh, if we don't pick our game up. Thanks for your time, Pritch. Right. Cheers, Sam. Thank you. We're with Mike Rare as well. A little bit shell-shocking, that one, isn't it? Oh, it's massively disappointing second half. You know, we were in control um, for sort of um, on 50 minutes and then we completely implode you know we make stupid errors um, you know we let a soft try and they haven't worked for any of their points today we just gifted them on a gift wrapped on a and frankly it was two poor sides out there you know it's just it's just madness madness and oh, some of our experienced players need to look themselves in the eye and they're giving stupid penalties away it's just setting a poor standard and I'm, you know we've got to be raging about that because you know we had enough to win this game today by a flood you know by two scores, you know, at least two scores, and yet we can't manage it, you know, and, and the people need to look at themselves in the mirror and, and ask why they're doing it, because they're hurting their teammates. Your captain's referred to it as unforgivable, the, the fact that you, 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 can't, you can't continue to sort of excuse yourself. Well, you know, but it's got to come from within, haven't it? It's got to come from them. They're the guys on the pitch, and they're the ones who are hurting their teammates, and that's, that's the frustrating part of it all. How do you try and build? Because this season keeps on coming. It's got Cornish yeah. Pirates away next week. What do we say next week? Well, we've got another tough uh, tough situation to go into. But at the end of the day, you can't feel sorry for yourself. You know, you've got to be tough about this. You've got to look yourself in the eye, in the changing rooms, and say, I'm going to put this right. You know, we're no good hiding away from it. You know, we just got to make sure we, we um, you know, dust ourselves down, you know, accept some responsibility for that um, and some of the dumbness we're, we're doing. And... You know, get back out there next week and, and take it out on somebody. We had one of the highlights of your career a few months ago back here at this wonderful stadium. Is this possibly uh, one of the worst moments? Oh, not really, no. I think we've got to have a bit of context about it. No, of course, it's a long season and, um, you know, um, <laughs> it's not the first time it's happened in the last minute here at, uh, at uh, Meadow Lane. Um, but as I say, I keep saying, we're in so much in control of that, of that game that, um, you know, we, <laughs> we, we've thrown it away. I mean, we've lost that game. They haven't won it. We've lost it.